Good morning students. In the last video, we have discussed two problems. One is the last update problem and unrepeatable rate problem. We'll discuss the another problem we will face when we are executing the transactions in a concurrent way. That is dirty read problem. So to explain it, I have taken a one schedule which consists of two transaction, transaction T1 and transaction T2. Okay. Initially, the X value is 100. So when this transaction T1 has executed the read operation, it will read the X value as 100. Now X is equal to X minus 10. So now X value is 90 because from 100, if you subtract 10, it will be 90. Write X. So what is the value you are, modif you are modifying it temporarily to 90 because you are saving it. Okay, you have read the value as 100. You have modified it to 90 and you have temporarily saved it. So in the memory, it will be x is equal to 90. Now the transaction T2 is reading the value. So what is the value it will read? It will read the value 90. Okay. Now x is equal to x plus 100. So it will be 190. It will write it as 190. x is equal to 190. It is modifying it to 190. Okay, now listen carefully. Because of some problem, again interleaver has happened. Because of some problem, it was rolled back. Because it was some, some failure came. So once a failure came, what it has to do? It has to roll back for the atomicity property. What is the atomicity property says? Either you execute all the operations in the transaction or you should not execute any one of the operations in a transaction. It has executed three operations in the transaction. When it was trying to execute the fourth operation, it got some failure. Okay. So then what it will do? It will do the rollback. If it is doing the rollback, what it will do? It will modify the X value as 100. Meaning is that it will be X value is 100 because it has read it as X value as 100. So according to this transaction, it has rolled back. So whatever the modifications it has done will not be updated in the final one. Now what is happened? If let's take that if this transaction was not the transaction T1 was not there and initially X value is 100. Okay. If initially X value is 100, read X, it would have read it as 100. X is equal to X plus 100. So it will be written as 200. But because this transaction has read the value x and it has reduced it to 90, then you have reading this value. From where you have read the value, you have read the value from the transaction 1. Whatever the modification transaction 1 has done and you have read it. So this problem has occurred. Okay. So how can we solve this problem is that why this problem came is also we can say that you have read the value from the uncommitted transaction. If there is a commit operation here and then you have read, then this value would have been, actually this X as 90 would have been saved in the database permanently. Once it has saved in the database permanently, if it roll backs also, no problem because it is saving it as 90 in the database itself. Because if it is rolled back, it will go roll back up to the commit operation only. It will not go up to the entire one. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? It's simply like this. In MS Word, you are typing few content. You, but you have entered one paragraph and you have pressed Ctrl S. Means you have saved. Then you have written some content. Then what you have done? You have pressed the back. <coughs> undo okay you have performed the undo operation once you perform the undo operation click, keep on clicking the undo operation where it will stop till at the lock file last save option up to what is the last save option you have done up to there it will be performed undo operation so if you are roll back in it will roll back up to the commit operation so this would have been fine but you have read the content from an uncommitted transaction so that's why this dirty read problem came to avoid the dirty read problem you should always read the value from a committed transaction okay i hope you are understanding all my lectures okay and i request everyone to go through my videos in a sequence for a better understanding okay thank you so much